Ross and I'm a UK Recruitment Officer here at Bangor University and today I'm going to tell you a bit more about the clearing process and some tips to guide you through it. So first of all, what is clearing? Clearing is how universities fill any spaces they still have available on any of their courses. If you check your UCAS status, it will say you are in clearing or clearing has started. But if you want to make extra sure, it's worth contacting your firm acceptance to see what they say. If on results day you may have missed out on the results that you were expecting, still give them a ring and chat to them, because sometimes universities might still be willing to offer you a place, or it might be that they can offer you a place on a slightly different course. So always get in touch with your firm acceptance to check what your status is if you're unsure. If you haven't been offered a place by your firm acceptance, then check the insurance acceptance that you've made if you chose to do one. And again, they might choose to offer you a place on a slightly different course if the results aren't quite what you are expecting. But it's important that you check both these offers first to be completely sure that you are in clearing. If you've got an accepted place confirmed at your firm acceptance or your insurance, but decide that you don't want to take up that offer, or you've had a complete change of heart about the course you want to do at university, you can choose to put yourself into clearing. So again, go into your UCAS application and choose decline my place, and that will then put you into clearing and allow you to shop around for a different course that you might be more interested in. You can also be in clearing if you haven't accepted any offers at any point in the application process. Now, if you have accepted a firm choice, and you've met the criteria and that place has been confirmed, but you'd rather now go to your insurance offer, unfortunately, you can't just swap these two around. So if you'd rather go for your insurance offer, you will need to be logging into your UCAS application, declining your place, and then going to the insurance offer through clearing. But always make sure that that is a possibility by contacting your insurance offer first and check if there's still spaces available so that you can make an application through clearing for that insurance choice. If you know you're in clearing and you're looking for places available on courses, there's a few places that you can look to find out what spaces are available. If you go onto the UCAS website and use their search tool, they have a list of all the courses available through clearing. And just remember, this can update regularly. So if you look at it at one particular time, that doesn't mean that it could be completely different if you check it a bit later. The other option that you have is to obviously contact universities, go on their own websites, and they will also have a list of courses where they have places available. When you're starting to look at these courses, you really need to think about what you want to get from this university experience in terms of the structure of the course, the modules that are available, the extra opportunities maybe for work experience, study abroad, thinking about accommodation, location, the kind of extracurricular activities, societies, clubs, all the kind of things that you would normally think about when you were choosing your university courses and options the first time around during the UCAS process. Also, what I always recommend is think about the other courses that you originally chose on your UCAS application, revisit them and see maybe if this place is available on those courses, if that's what you're still interested in. Because at least with those, you've already done the research and you've got a good idea and you might even have been to an open day and have a look round. So really think about what it is you want to get from the universities and the courses available and do your research in exactly the same way as you would have done for any other application because you're still making a decision about what you're going to study and the experiences that you're going to have whilst you're at university. Now you don't have to wait until you know you're in clearing to do this research. So if you think you've changed your mind or if you want to start researching your options, it's never too, do, too soon to do so. And also, if you go onto university websites, you may be able to register in advance for an interest in a place in clearing. And then they might get in touch with you on results date to discuss what they have available and what you might be interested in at that particular university. So don't leave it too late. You can always start doing your research now. So once you've seen some courses or universities that you're interested in, you need to get in touch with them and see whether or not they will be able to offer you a place on that course. So there's lots of different ways of getting in touch with the universities. It can be giving them a ring, it can be live chat, it can be maybe through a web form, but it's really important that you have your personal ID to hand, your exam results, that you're willing to potentially talk to academic staff who may want to ask you a few questions, 
but also ha that you have questions of your own as well to find out a bit more about the university and what they have on offer. Now, you can contact universities as soon as you have exam results. So if you already have them before results day, you don't have to wait until results day before getting in touch and see if there's places available through clearing. If they are able to make you an offer, don't forget that you still need to do some research and start asking questions. So you may want to ask about accommodation, about student finance. You may want to ask if there's an opportunity to visit the university as well, because quite often there will be visit days or opportunities to come and have a look round so you can see the university for itself before you actually decide whether or not to accept that place you've been offered through clearing. Now, just to let you know, some universities may have a deadline date by which they make you an offer through clearing, but you have to accept that offer before it expires. So just be aware of that again when you're on the phone or speaking to them, that you know exactly how long you have to make your mind up about whether or not you want to accept this place that they have available through clearing. So once you've done your research, maybe gone to the university, had a chat, had a proper look around, are happy with the choice that you're going to make through clearing, it's now time to add that choice to your UCAS application. So go into your UCAS application, go to the choices section and click on add clearing choice. Now please remember to not add a clearing choice until you've got the confirmation from the university that they can offer you a place. Also, please remember that you do have to have an UCAS application open before you can accept a place through clearing. So if you're somebody who suddenly decided they'd like to go to university, please remember that you need to make this UCAS application. Now, once you've done that, there's no need for you to do anything else. The university will then confirm that place and your status will update at some point when you log into your UCAS application. But there will be other things that you now need to think about. So potentially making an application for a place in halls of residence and also updating your student finance application. One, don't panic. Thousands of people go through the clearing process every year and there are lots of people to help you out, to give you advice. Um, so really make the most of that during this process. Secondly, be on hand, be available, not just on results day if you're waiting for your results, but also for the days after. So like I said, there may be other things that you need to do and visits that you need to fit in during this time. Thirdly, do your research. It's just like if you'd already done the research before putting in your original choices on your UCAS application, you still need to think about what experiences you want and the kind of course that you're looking for at university. So it's just as important as before. And then finally, visit the universities. There is no substitute in the research that you can do to actually turning up to the university, speaking to staff, speaking to students, having a look round and really be happy with the choice that you're going to make. So I hope you found this advice really useful and it will guide you through the clearing period. Please make sure you have all your questions answered, that you look into your options because there's some really great opportunities out there at university through clearing. You can get one of those places and have a fantastic time and celebrate getting into university. So good luck to you all and we hope to see some of you at Bangor soon.